key aspect of Hawaii Community Foundation's vision statement is that we want to live in a place where people care about each other. Pillars of Peace was designed and fashioned to encourage people to remember our sense of aloha and to practice compassion and to think about justice for all. The elders are kupuna in the global community. Bringing the elders to Hawaii seems like such a natural thing to us. You know, in this community that we live, kupuna are revered. We welcome you with the chant in our Hawaiian language. Love arises at your arrival. Welcome. As remarkably different as everyone says we are, at the root we're really just, we have so much in common. And so how do we share all those lessons of history and then learn from them and build on them? So we bring world leaders to Hawaii but we also expect those world leaders to listen and hear about Hawaii's complex history so that we can have a fuller exchange of ideas. As issues become more multifaceted and complex, ethical leadership becomes even more important because people are looking for authentic leaders who share their values and can sit down together and find solutions to very, very difficult problems. If you believe in the infinite worth of human beings, then when, when that is undermined, uh, you can't just sit uh, quietly. It would be a very insensitive person who would look at what is happening around you and say, OK, I'll deal with it uh, another time. You can't do that, and you can't afford it. The business leader has as much a responsibility as a political leader has. They have influence, they have challenges. And so when you talk, for instance, about sustainable development or climate change, there's no way for the world to deal with that unless the business community, the NGO community, and the political leadership all together do what's right. One thing that we can take out that seemed to be unifying for that amazing trio of folks is their uh, understanding that they probably went through a journey where it started out as philosophical, it became real, and then they had to have the courage to decide whether they were going to take it someplace else at their peril. And they all did that. Elders reminded everybody that climate change is not just an environmental issue. It affects the health of community, it affects the well-being of a community. It's really a social justice issue for the planet. We are all going to bear the consequences of our greed, of our devastation, and unless we find a way of getting people to understand that this is a moral issue, an issue about whether we want to survive as a species or not. We have to make sure that social, economic, and cultural rights of the people who have been affected by climate change are properly addressed. Everybody needs energy, but everybody needs sustainable energy, because otherwise we will suffocate all of us. So the, the combination of fighting poverty and improving lives, as you do it to protect the climate, is a win-win situation. This is what we need to do. Hawaii is such a diverse place, and yet we're diverse, but we have peace because we're more inclusive. You know, coming from a place where people are so divided, and there are so many reasons to hate each other, that they find. It seems so refreshing to be amongst people who enjoy their diversity, who celebrate uh, their diversity. Uh, I think it's so precious. I, I, I really, really feel that this is so precious that you should, you must guard it. The Pillars of Peace program, and especially the elders who just visited, encourage the students to actually help be a part of that change for the future. You can learn that it is possible through political action, activism, policies, democracy, to move things in the right direction. For this world to be a world that is going to survive, 
and have no war. For this world to be a world where we begin to share more equitably, the world is in your hands. When they said that like, they have that much faith in us, that was like a, kind of like a push. So it was kind of like a push in which we felt like, oh my God, if they have that much faith in us, maybe, just maybe, we're actually going to be able to do what they actually do to us that we can do. What the Pillars of Peace does is allow us to take seriously this notion of peace. Sometimes it gets marginalized as sort of this a uh, very wistful, idealistic approach to thinking about uh, world problems, that it's something that is a, a thing of youth. We are taking it seriously. We are committing to it as a community when we, when we engage in activities like Pillars of Peace and have these conversations. And that's perhaps the most critical benefit of this kind of gathering. The work goes on, and it goes on regardless of whether you're 85 years old or you're 25 years old. This work goes on, and it's a part of all of us, and we have to continue to do it. Morality, doing the right thing, ultimately is going to win.